They told us the east of Kazakhstan would be beautiful, but no one prepared us for this. We drove across landscapes that felt surreal, rugged mountains, endless valleys blanketed in snow, and roads that seemed to stretch into another world. We crossed rivers, grave dodgy wooden bridges, and found ourselves deep in bear territory, pushing our limits every step of the way. We soaked in hot springs, sweated it out in the banya, and journeyed to a place that felt like Mars. But it wasn't all easy. The roads tested us. This is not going well. The weather challenged us, and the moments were as wild as they were breathtaking. We even managed to cross into Russia by accident. Russia! This is more than just a road trip. This is the east of Kazakhstan, and it's unlike anything we've ever experienced. Are you ready to join us? <laughs> You wanted to be epic, love, didn't you? Yeah. Cheers! How much do you This is our friend Yasa. And this is his truck. Wow. Oh my god, we've never seen so many horses. Wow. There must be easily like three, four hundred horses. of driving we have arrived at Ulkinarun for a little uh, food break yeah we're hungry I tried to say that before but um, <laughs> I just couldn't get my tongue around it Ulkinarun that's where we are <laughs> after a quick lunch we set off towards the hidden Mimer waterfall but this wasn't just any road winding cliffs loomed over us and with each turn the path grew narrower Yasa gripped the wheel, the edge just inches away, trusting only in our tires to hold us steady. Heart pounding, <laughs> breath yeah. held, this was the thrill of the unknown. Well done, well done. <laughs> it was very scary. That was it. Um, and finally, we arrived. What a road. What a driver we have. He's, um, yeah, trustworthy. Rewarded by the wild beauty of the falls, risk, adventure and nature at its rawest. This is what brought us here. Okay, I hope there are no... Are you here? Or... <laughs> it might not be the biggest waterfall we've ever seen, but it is super beautiful mm. and definitely a spot that we would recommend coming to in summer. We would love to go for a swim, but we're a little bit sook right now. A, a little, little bit, bit sook and also um, it's getting dark, so yeah. let's go. <laughs> the day slipped away in an instant. Leaving the waterfall, we watched as the sky shifted from bright daylight to soft sunset colors, painting the horizon in shades of pink and gold. About half an hour ago, we passed through Katankaragai and now we've had to stop at a checkpoint because we're kind of getting close to the border of China and in this region, they check all passports. So Yasa has gone with our passports to hopefully <laughs> get us into um, this region because we need to keep going. Also, it seems super late, but it's not even five o'clock. We were driving, it was getting darker. I was like, oh my God, I feel like it's like nine o'clock bedtime, but uh, no, it's early. It's not even dinner time yet. We have arrived. It feels so good to be here. We were nine hours on the road. 
and it was an amazing adventure, but I am so happy to be arrived. <laughs> Dang. <laughs> it is day two of our Eastern Kazakhstan adventure and oh, it is off to a good start because where are we going first? A hot spring. Woo! Cannot be any better. Let's go! <laughs> mm. Quiet mornings in towns like Birel are grounding. The stillness is punctuated by the distant sound of cows and the soft stir of life awakening. Here, the pace slows, inviting you to pause and savour each moment. Ow. We heard that at the moment Belucha is visible, so we're trying to get there as fast as possible before the clouds cover it. Fingers crossed we see it. In Asia we would do this every single day, just in the back of a truck, out in the fresh air. <sighs> <laughs> that was so much fun. My mouth is. <laughs> there should be another waterfall around here. Unfortunately, if you can see this, all the trees are burned down. Yes, I told us that a few years ago there was a huge fire and uh, yeah, it killed a big part of the nature, unfortunately. I never imagined in my life that Kazakhstan would have nature like this. Hot spring is uh, making your health better if you swim in inside because inside the water there is uh, some parts of radon under the ground the nucle nucle nuclear reactions are happening you okay know? so is that good <laughs> yeah it's good but not for a long time yasa knows so much about this incredible land as our guide and the founder of Amalaya, he not only brings travellers closer to Kazakhstan's hidden beauty, but also gives back to the world. Through his other project, Cero, Cero! Yasa helps plant trees, making a positive impact on the environment and supporting a greener future. This place used to be a resort and unfortunately it closed down two years ago, which is very sad because it's really beautiful, the perfect place to just come to relax. Uh, I'm not sure if the hot spring is even open, but they told us we could go in. So uh, I have a feeling we'll be alone there. Is this the hot spring? This is the hot spring. Yeah. No way! Really? Yeah. Jesus. I cannot believe. This is such an idyllic little hot spring. Oh, oh. And it's warm, isn't it? Yeah? Yeah, perfect temperature. Hot springs are my favorite thing ever. Wow, beautiful! Oh, how nice. That's nice. Oh, nice. Wow. Oh. Wow. I never want to leave. No, we're sitting here. Ah, oh, this is insane. The fact that it's cold outside, warm in here. Nothing. 
this is definitely the hardest part, getting out of the water. Because inside is nice and warm and outside... Brrrr, <laughs> zoek! Okay, let's go. I can do it. That felt so good. Wow. Feeling amazing right now. We have to talk louder because if there is a bear, it will hear us and go away. Uh, yeah? Yeah. There are bears I here? Think, I think we will not meet them. Ah. So good. <laughs> I hope. Run. Do you know what to do if we see a bear? Run. Run? No, that's the worst thing. <laughs> we need to make him understand that we are hunting on him. You know? Like, we should be not scared. He should be scared. Ah, he should because be scared? Of, yeah. Ah. So as if we are hunting. We need to go to him and oh, catch him, catch him, catch him, ah! Like this. Okay. And he will be scared and go away. Yeah, I'm, I'm totally going to be able to scare a bear. Yeah. <laughs> Shit my pants. <laughs> Run away because of the smell. Did the guys tell you that there might be bears here? No, I know. You know? Yeah. Oh, and, let me tell you that and so it began. As we ventured deeper into bear territory, we broke the silence with song and laughter. Anything to keep the wild at bay. Every tune, every noise was both a shield and a celebration of the adventure unfolding. This was our way of embracing the unknown, with voices rising against the vastness of nature. Our parents would kick our butts right now. <laughs> they knew we were doing this. Sorry, mom. Sorry, dad. <laughs> I do have to say, I'm a little bit scared. I'm pooping my pants. <laughs> you made it? Wow. Stunning. After our trek through bear territory, we arrived at the stunning Veronica's Hair waterfall. We paused to drink from its crystal clear waters, the refreshing taste a perfect reward for our adventure. As we looked up, the majestic snowy mountains rose behind us, creating a breathtaking backdrop that completed this magical moment. <laughs> okay. I have to say, walking up was easy. Now being here, I'm like, oh, this is high, and I feel a bit uh, shaky That's being good. here. But um, ah, we're surviving. just thinking about going down. Day three and we're on the road already. It's about eight o'clock and a little bit chillier than yesterday, but we're ready for another big adventure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the bumpy roads begin. <laughs> Fuck. Holy guacamole! <laughs> Holy guacamole! Okay, the guys, if I all die, say to my wife, I loved her. I do understand why Yasa is saying this because this bridge looks dodgy. He says this is the most dangerous bridge that we have to cross today. It's just made out of wood and it looks very slacky. It's, it looks like it's just gonna break down. And what do you think? I think it's maybe okay. Maybe. Yeah. Maybe. Maybe it's okay. Not only is the bridge going like this, it's also going sideways, like it's 
like this. It's dodgy, dodgy, dodgy. And I understand now why he doesn't want it in the car. He said in case something happens and uh, the, the car drops, then at least he's not responsible for us. I really hope he makes it across. This is crazy. Oh my God. Ah! Good luck. <laughs> Thank you. Breaking, yeah, it's have some something. <laughs> you made it. are just a little bit awful here <laughs> they're now checking which is the best pass and kind of building the roads along the way throwing rocks to the sides this has been an adventure wow it's a crazy road can you even call this a road tire are just like overturning and it doesn't want to get over these these rocks straight yep straight yep 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 For the bears, huh? Yeah, yeah. Go away! Yasa absolutely loves waterfalls. So uh, we just noticed there is one here, go which we're gonna hey. go on and see. Hopefully no bears. Our journey took us further into the wilds of Kazakhstan, all the way to Yazevoye Lake in the distant northeast, a place of raw, untouched beauty that felt like the edge of the world. <laughs> we are in Russia! Are we in Russia? You see? Russia? <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> Russia? Kazakhstan. <laughs> yeah, we are in Russia. Why? <laughs> Where is the border? We are in Russia. What did it say? Borderline. It just said borderline. You must have a pass, a visa. We don't. So uh, we are illegal now in Russia. <laughs> Welcome to Russia, guys. Welcome to Russia. You should have a shot of vodka. <laughs> <laughs> 
Nice. Never been here before. Привет. There's some bread over there that looks kind of fresh. Really? Yeah. <laughs> fresh? I mean, you can touch it. <laughs> it's not fresh. It's oh like my old. god, it's definitely old. We can have some sandwiches here. Oh. Should we eat it? <laughs> it's kasha. Kasha. Oh, oh. Kasha. Nice. kasha with meat. Oh, kasha with meat. Mm. <laughs> It is so silent here. Nothing. Wow. Yeah, so what are you doing? I'm just feeling the Russian water <laughs> to take to Kazakhstan. Is this a banya? No way. No freaking way. Holy guacamole! Guys, yeah. guess what I have just found? Uh, yeah, there is a banya. Banya! Yeah. I wouldn't mind living here. I mean, you have a nice little house. You have the mountains and a freaking banya! Talking about banyas, there is a banya at our guest house tonight. We will go for a nice time, relaxing in the sauna. I love toilets out in nature. I mean, I think I'm gonna start traveling around Kazakhstan just to find all the most beautiful toilets. We've just met some people who are here for our nature reserve and they said there are lots of bears around here and they've seen a lot of it as well. Uh, my god. These guys spend a lot of time out here just on their horses and uh, that must be crazy. And they're not afraid to say we have a knife so if something happens we'll fight back. too but I'm, I'm afraid. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I see a bear. But they say though the best time is to come in spring because then you can see them waking up, lying in the sun. We've never been so close to bear. And what do you think? No idea. This part looks good. I think you should go over there. As this bridge is very dodgy, we're thinking to cross the river. And what do you think? Yeah, it's okay. It's okay. Woo! Have you ever crossed the a river before like this? Not so big, okay. but I crossed the deeper water. Okay. Ready? Ready? We're crossing a full on river!
Before heading home, we made one last stop at King's Plateau, where ancient rulers lie buried beneath mounds. Incredibly, their horses were buried with them, sitting upright, as if ready to ride off into the afterlife. This place holds centuries of history, a testament to the powerful bond between king and steed. Silk's favourite time? Banya time. Let's go. Oh my god, this warm. Oh, nice. <laughs> Let's go. Oh. oh. some cold water, lots of steam. Oh my god. This, this is, feels healthy. This makes us want to do this with our place when we when we have a place in Scotland someday. We're gonna have a banya. Banya. You're all invited guys. <laughs> Come to our banya. It doesn't even feel cold outside. No. <sighs> Staying with the local family, we were honoured as respectable guests. They prepared a traditional dish, the head of a cow. While we were vegetarian and didn't eat it, we learned about the cultural importance of each part. For instance, children receive the ear, the hip goes to the most honoured guest, and the eye is served to a woman. This tradition reflects the deep respect woven into Kazakh hospitality. The eye is very tasty, you know. Oh uh, yeah? Just like... Oh uh, yeah? <laughs> yeah. It's a brain. And that's your favourite? Yeah, it's my favourite. Makes you smart now? Yeah, <laughs> make me smarter. <laughs> you are given to uh, children. Sometimes it... it They're telling us it's snowing outside. Oh my god. Is it? Snowing? First snow in Kazakhstan! At least first snow that we see falling. Falling, yeah. This is nice. Uh. <laughs> and it's so nice to be out after food. In the morning, snow was still falling as we said our goodbyes to the family. Oh my god, guys. Ah! It has snowed. Wow. And it, it is, is snowing. snowing. Today's off to a good start. <laughs> oh, and one other thing. Today, we are going to Mars. We are going to Mars. You join us to Mars? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> she has been so amazing, by the way, staying in the guest house. Her and her family have welcomed us in. And yeah, it's you've got to visit these guys. They're amazing. Mm -hmm. And we love them. Rachmed. And we see you again. Savons. Savons. Parting felt bittersweet with the warmth of their hospitality still fresh in our minds. <laughs> okay. Love you. <laughs> My husband thinks it's summer. It's summer. <laughs> <laughs> Everything is green. We're by this monument again. This is um, Yasser's ancestors. And someone was going past and taking a video. And I'm almost 100% sure that they weren't filming the monument. <laughs> I'm standing there taking a photo like this. <laughs> um, but it's not, it's not actually super cool. Not for you. 
<laughs> the snow disappeared as we headed back west, leaving Katong Karagai behind. With open roads stretching ahead, we found ourselves surrounded by wild, untouched landscapes. The path seemed endless, inviting us deeper into the heart of this rugged beauty, where each bend held a quiet promise of freedom and discovery. We've just been ditched in the middle of nowhere. Go on forever. Where do you want to go? I guess we just hitchhike that way. There's a car. Perfect. Okay, I think he felt sorry for us. He came back home. Take us up. <laughs> Instead of having us running all the way or leaving us abandoned. Taxi, hey! Taxi! <laughs> Two geese. <laughs> Hopefully we get through. It. <laughs> it's a little bit of mud. Ready. Do you need to hold? Holy, holy, holy! Whoa! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> We arrived on what felt like Mars. Kinkerish, with its vivid red and orange plate formations, stretch out before us in sweeping smooth contours. The land, shaped by centuries of erosion, created vast, undulating hills and wide open spaces that seem to belong to another planet. The colors of the earth, burnished reds and oranges, blended together in a way that felt completely otherworldly. Standing there, surrounded by this expansive, barren beauty, it felt as though we had stepped into a place beyond Earth. A land unlike anywhere we've ever been before. Where the stillness and solitude added to the sense of awe and wonder. Guys, we have arrived on Mars. <laughs> Just a little bit. <laughs> a little bit slippery. Okay, how do we do this? Nice love. <laughs> oh. How are you going to do this? Look at this place. <laughs> Look at my shoes. <laughs> <laughs> it's like you just take the ground with you. Yeah. Oh, we drove along vast open dirt roads, the lake glimmering beside us as we travelled further into this remote terrain. Arriving at Shekelmes felt like discovering another hidden world, similar to King Kirish, but here the earth glowed with richer shades of orange, as if the sun itself had stained the land.
still water lay calmly next to this surreal terrain, creating a contrast that made the colours even more vibrant. It was yet another reminder of how boundless and beautiful this journey has been, revealing places that seem almost untouched by time. thought about Kazakhstan we thought it would be lots of desert and steps not a lot else but uh, it has so much and it has lakes almost as big as the ocean I mean being here I wouldn't think it's not the ocean As we ran down the hill, laughing and soaking up the moment, it was clear this road trip had been more than just a journey. It was a collection of memories carved into these stunning landscapes, moments of wonder and a sense of freedom that only open roads can bring. Driving away, watching these places fade into the distance, we knew this adventure would stay with us forever. A journey of a lifetime, and one we will never forget.